So some of us have heard the phrase winterizing our lawns, getting thrown around in the lawn community. And I've been receiving questions and suggestions on how we could do winterizing in warm season turf. And some of the common questions that I'm getting are, should I winterize my warm season turf? And how do I winterize my warm season turf? Well, in order for me to answer that, first, let's define the word winterize. Now, a quick Google search reveals that the meaning of winterize is adapt or prepare something for cold weather. So with that being said, winterizing your lawn in warm season is actually a whole lot different than winterizing your lawn in cool season. Let's look at this map of Florida just as an example. Here is where I live. Now let's draw a line. Anything below that line, our lawns do not go dormant. Now counties between this line and now this line, they may experience some type of turf damage, but dormancy, well, it really depends on how the weather foretells on the future, how cold it will get. Now, anything above this line will go dormant if you have warm season turf. And the same applies to any states in the United States. Anything closer to the equator will not go dormant and anything further away from the equator has a chance of dormancy. All right, now that we got the educational piece down, let's go on to the tips. All right, so let's start off with some tips. And the very first tip that we're gonna start off with is cool season tips. Now, you guys know I have St. Augustine grass and that's a warm season type of turf. And cool season is not really in my forte, so to speak. So with that being said, I actually have a special guest that I'm going to invite in this video and he's going to fill you in with a couple of cool season tips that you guys could utilize for your cool season lawns. I'd like to introduce you guys to Justin, the lawn lover. Hey, what's up, Dan? Thanks for having me in the video. It's Justin, the lawn lover, coming to you on a beautiful fall day here in Indiana. Now, unlike Dan, up here in the Midwest, we have cool season turf. And dealing with cool season turf and getting it ready for the harshness of winter that we have here, much more different than people that deal with warm season turf. So I have a few tips for you here, if you have cool season turf, on how you can winterize your lawn and your lawn equipment so when next spring comes, you can hit the ground running and have less issues. So let's get into it. So the biggest thing that you're gonna wanna do with the cool season lawn is make sure that you fertilize in the fall. Now this is gonna be the most important application of the year. If you do nothing else to your lawn, get some fertilizer down on it in the fall time. Now the best fertilizer to use if you haven't done a soil test or you don't know your soil needs, just go with something at the higher nitrogen content. You'll see a lot of things in the stores or online uh, labeled as, you know, fall lawn food, uh, fall winterizer, uh, winterizer food, etc. If you go to any of the big box stores, get something with some high nitrogen content. Timing wise, I like to do split applications. I like to go probably the first part of October, which we're already past now, but you can also do it in one application if you miss the application window. So you're looking for a time probably coming up in the next few weeks um, here, depending on the weather, this is always dependent on mother nature, but a time when you can get the fertilizer down probably a week or two before the ground starts to freeze. So you want to try to beat any snow or any ground freezing. So the lawn can really store that nitrogen, store those nutrients in its roots over the winter. So when next spring comes, it can really flourish and take off. The second tip I would give you is to mow your lawn shorter. Now, what I usually do is, um, the last few mows of the season, I'll take whatever I currently mow at and drop the mower down a notch or two. So right before winter, I'm getting it extremely short or shorter than I was mowing it uh, all summer long. And what this does for you is a few things. So it's gonna prevent the grass from matting down, especially if your kids play on it um, over the winter or when the snow sits on it, uh, which is gonna let that grass breathe a little better, prevent you from having issues like snow mold or, or the winter type funguses that we see especially if we have a big snowpack for a long time in the winter. So come springtime, you're not going to be dealing with fungal issues. You're not going to be having matted over turf and, and have, which leads to other issues. So mowing shorter is something easy you can do right before winter to make sure that next spring you're ready to go. 
Now the final easy step you can take is make sure you're taking care of your equipment. Now you work hard on your lawns all summer long. You put in the time on that equipment, make sure you're taking care of it. Now what I like to do with my equipment is give it a good wash down right before I put it away for the winter. I'll wash it, uh, with, especially with a mower, change blades if I need to, scrape out the deck, get everything cleaned, including don't forget your tools like your trimmers and your edgers, blowers, etc. if those need clean. Change any filters, do maintenance on them if you need to. Another thing that I found helpful is look for anything that needs fixed on your equipment. Over the winter, you can order those parts, change it, or get it into a dealer if you utilize a dealer. Uh, to get those fixed you have a lot of time over the winter where you're not going to be using it we'll make sure that you're ready for spring also if you have gas powered equipment i would highly recommend draining the fuel out of those or running them out of gas before storing them during the winter months helps with not having gas sit in those that equipment and makes it easier to start in the springtime so those are three easy things that anybody with a cool season lawn can do to make sure that they're adequately winterizing the lawn so it's ready for the harshness of winters that we see here in the Midwest and the North. This will help you bounce back out of winter with less issues, less problems, and be ready to go come springtime. And your equipment will be ready to go too if you properly store it over the winter. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. Now let's send it back to Dan to discuss more on warm season lawns. All right, thank you so much, Jay. Thank you for taking the time to give us the insight and the tips for cool season winterizing. If you guys are interested in following Justin, I'll put a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Click it, give him a subscribe. He has some great insight on cool season turfs as well as great tips for your lawn. All right, so now let's talk warm season. For the warm season folks that their grass does go dormant, I would actually utilize Justin's tips for your lawn as well. The only difference that I would give you guys there is look at your 10 day weather forecast and analyze if your temps are going down rapidly to the point that your lawn is ready to go dormant. If that's the case, I would actually hold off on throwing anything in the lawn, including fertilizer or soil amendments, and just focus on the mowing and equipment maintenance. Now we get to the fun part. If your lawn does not, and I repeat, does not go dormant, you actually have two options. Your two options. You can winterize your lawn if you chose to do so. And you can continue as regular as usual. So for those who want to call it an end to a season in warm season where it doesn't go dormant, here are my suggestions. From this point until the winter, I would drop down your mower height half a notch and gradually until your minimal, keyword, minimal height requirements. Meaning, example, St. Augustine. I can mow St. Augustine up to two inches without damaging the turf. Anything lower than that, you're actually going into the crown of the plant and you're causing damage so once i reach those two inches that's it leave it at is and continue to mow at that height for the rest of winter as far as mowing is concerned well by the time you reach those two inches of mowing gradually bringing down that notch you're already in winter and your lawn is slowly progressing to grow it's not going to grow fast so what does that mean you have gone from spring and summer mowing every four to seven days to now winter mowing every 10 to 15 days so it's not really an off button per se but you're now mowing every two to three weeks instead of weekly as far as putting any type of fertilizer or soil amendments down Fertilizer, yes. What I would utilize is something under 10% nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium are all optional depending on your soil test. The one key thing here that I would suggest is look at the bag and make sure that it's an extended feeding amount that feeds up to three months. The bag will clearly say it and that's a fertilizer that I would recommend so that you don't have to put fertilizer every single month. You're calling it quits. Just 
just put it down that one time and you're set until spring. Finally, keep your soil amendments, put it down one more time for the season, don't worry about it anymore, and keep your regular scheduled watering program for fall and winter, okay? If you're still on a spring and summer uh, watering program, I would suggest that you go into your machine, into your app, and make the adjustments for fall and winter. It's not as hot, the days are not as long, you need less water. So we went from uh, watering I would say every inch and a half a week to now one inch minimal a week maybe every two days a deep watering cycle and that's it so with that being said now comes the fun part the part that I will follow and that part is I'm going to continue regular maintenance my lawn does not go dormant at all during winter so I will continue to fertilize however I will fertilize using a low nitrogen fertilizer rather it's a liquid or rather it's a granular I will use a low nitrogen fertilizer I'll continue to mow probably every seven days now instead of every you know three to five days uh, every seven days is one week of a cut that's fine be roughly around that one third rule I will change my watering schedule of course so it could align with fall and winter I really only need about one inch now a week instead of an inch and a half and I will continue to kill weeds and put my soil amendments down so the only real suggestion that changes here is a fertilizer with low nitrogen I'm still going to water I'm still going to put my soil amendments. I'm still going to mow roughly once a week. I am going to continue watering, continue to kill weeds, etc. So my lawn is not dormant. I have plenty of activity for my lawn and those are your options. If you want to winterize your lawn, you know the steps to do so. If you're going to continue regular programming, you now know the steps to do so as well. With that being said, that's it. That's the end of the video. That's all I got for you guys. And I do appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much. Once again, Justin, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Awesome of you, man. If you guys are interested, once again, down in the description link, there is a link to his YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.